Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and to week three of Vlogmas. I can't believe it's already week three. That's crazy. If you missed week one and week two, I'm going to be linking them down in the description box. Um, so today, it's a little bit later. So this morning, I actually went out and did a little bit of vintage shopping. I went to the Fulton Antique Mall, which I took you guys there for Black Friday. So I'm going to be showing you guys some clips from that from earlier today. I didn't do too much filming there just because, like I said, I did take you guys there on Black Friday. So I feel like it's a little bit repetitive if I show you the same place again. Um, so I'll show you guys some clips from that. And and then we'll come back and I'll show you guys everything that I bought. This little toy stroller I could actually die it's only $45 then 25% off it is such a bargain but like where would I even store this it's so cute I also really love this doll because it looks like super old-fashioned with like the waves and the hair and everything it's so cute okay but those are the coolest salt and pepper shakers I have ever seen Okay, so we're back and I'm going to be showing you guys everything that I got. I found a few gems and I'm really excited about them. On my way home, I also stopped by Tim Hortons and I had lunch. I usually get the chicken noodle soup because I love soup. So that's what I had for lunch. Um, I think I have a clip from that, so I'll just play it while I'm saying it right now. Um, so yeah, let's get into this little haul. Oh my God, I have like this one little piece of hair that I don't know what it's doing. Mm, stop it. The first thing that I got is this book and it's not that old, it's from like the 80s, but it's a book about Gone with the Wind and I love Vivian Lee. Like anything with Vivian Lee, I am like obsessed with. She's like my major style icon. I was actually debating on doing another like style inspiration video. I did one a while ago, but I feel like my style has definitely changed. So I feel like I might do another one. Let me know if you guys are interested. Vivian Lee is like my number one style icon. So obviously I had to get this book. It was $20 and then 50% off. So it's only $10, which is a little bit expensive considering I could probably get this at the thrift store for like $5.99, but I've never seen one about Gone with the Wind before. So I figured I would just get it because it was $10. And whoever owned this before also threw in a little newspaper clipping from the 80s about Gone with the Wind, so really excited about that. I love when people do that. I have one like that with Diana's wedding, actually, like Princess Diana's wedding, so that was really cool. Next thing that I got is this little blouse. This is the first time that I actually buy clothes at the Frilton Antique Mall. Usually I buy like hats and accessories, but I've never bought actual clothes before, and I picked up this little blouse. It's so cute. Let me do a button so you guys can actually like see the entire thing. You guys can't barely even see it, but this is what it looks like. It's really, really cute. I love the material that it's made out of and it's just really cute. So I feel like I'll get tons of wear out of this. I'm not really sure what year it's from. It's a really nice material though. I got an ornament and it has all of these like red kind of like berry type thing, like cranberries or like, it looks like this. I'm probably gonna put this on my tree after I'm finished filming this, but it's really, really cute. So this one was $4 and 25% off. Um, I also got these, okay, this is really random, but in one of the displays, they had a bunch of like um, cookie cutter or like cookie molds or something, and they were hanging on the tree with like this really pretty like um, ribbon on them. So I got the idea and I saw these ones. They're like tiny little cookie cutters. So I thought that I could get some really pretty ribbon and just hang them on the tree. And I thought it would look really nice. So I'm gonna give that a try. So these ones were three of them for $3 and then 25% off. So I thought that was a pretty good deal. So I'm probably gonna be doing that later today. And then I got this little bag that had three handkerchiefs in them and I love having these I always have one in my purse because they're so easy to use to like clean my phone off if it's getting a little bit dirty or if I get like a scuff on my shoe or something I don't know I always have like so many of them because they're so inexpensive um, so this one was um, I got three of them for five dollars and I feel like that's a pretty good deal usually they're like two dollars each 
ish around there so i mean it's not that far off and then i think it had like 20 percent off or something so adding three more to my collection i also got these two little handbags they look like this so this one um is all white and it has kind of like a scale kind of beading on it if that makes sense um then it opens up at the top and then it has like white satin on the inside and i thought this would be really nice for like everyday kind of wear with like my more 1940s 1930s kind of looks obviously this is not from the 1930s or 1940s but i feel like you can kind of get away with it because it's a little beaded bag so i feel like that's fine um and then i also got this one which is more of like a black and it's got like sparkles on it I don't know if you guys can see that properly, but it's really nice. This one's a little bit more like soft versus this one that has more structure to it. Um, but I thought it was really, really pretty. And then this one has like a dark gray satin on the inside. And these ones were each $7.50 and then 25% off, which I thought that was a pretty good deal as well. And I also got two books. Um, so the first one is a 1930s etiquette book which is really cool i love etiquette books i have one from amy vanderbilt but i think it's from the 1960s 1962 i believe so this one is from 1938 i think it said 1938 so yeah love that i love etiquette books i think they're so fun to read and the other one that i got looks like this and this one is from 1892 i am pretty sure 1892 so really really cool i have no idea what it's about but i feel like that's how i find books to read i always go to like the vintage and collectible section at the thrift store and i just pick one out that i think looks pretty and then i end up reading that i don't really like look up any reviews or anything i just kind of buy it and read it and it is what it is um but i do love the ones that have like portraits on them i have a few of those and those are like my absolute favorites so yeah this one is called out of fashion by mrs lt maid so if anybody's read that or has any idea what this is, let me know in the comments below, I guess. And then the very, very last thing that I got was, is a doll? And I just thought it was so cool. I mean, it, she just looks so like old fashioned, but she's not. She, this was made in 1991, so it's not actually that old. It's older than me, but I mean, it's not that old in the grand scheme of things. Like I do love porcelain dolls and like older ones um but this one just kind of has that whole like vintage look going on so obviously she doesn't have any proper clothes on so i'm probably gonna go to the thrift store and see if i can find some doll clothes or even in like the baby section to see if i can find like one dress that would fit her she comes with a little camisole little slip thing underneath and she has little socks and white shoes so as for the rest of the day i think i'm going to be editing i have so many photos to edit from when i was in stratford um so i want to edit those and then i think i'm just going to put on a movie in the background something that i've seen before like elf or something um and yeah that's pretty much the plan it is sunday so i am having more of a laid back day anyway um i also have to put all this stuff away and hang my new ornament so let's do that first before anything else oh. no did i just break it Oh my god, I am heartbroken right now. What is happening? Okay, I fixed it. Let's find a spot on the tree. guys so today is monday and it's early in the morning and i just got dressed to take some photos for my christmas lookbook i know it looks a little bit plain right now because you can't see my skirt but i am going to be wearing this hat um anyway so i'm getting ready right now to go take some photos i still have the clips in my hair because i just forgot to put hairspray on i have to go do that i'm like super behind on my christmas lookbook so i really need to get this done so that i can get it up there was one more look that i wanted to shoot but i haven't had the time so i don't think i'm going to be able to include it just because it's already a little bit too late in december to like post the christmas lookbook <laughs> Okay, so I'm here and now I'm getting ready, taking all these clips out of my hair. It is so pretty outside, there's so much snow everywhere, and oh my god, I'm getting this caught. It's okay. <laughs>
Okay, so I just finished filming and it is so cold. My hands feel like they're about to fall off. Um, but this is where I shot, so it's like this white little church and there's all the snow everywhere and it just looks really, really cute. It also looked really cute with this house in the background here. Um, but yeah, I am freezing, so I am going to go. I think I'm gonna stop by a thrift store on my way home because there's another one on my way home. Um, but yeah. Okay, I'm gonna go back inside the car because it is freezing. The snow does look super pretty though. Like look at this house, how pretty it looks with all the snow on it. Here we go. Back to my usual. Ooh, I actually kind of like this. I wonder how short it would be though. So I would have to fix the belt a little bit, but I actually think it's really cute. I'm a little concerned that it's a little bit too short. It's like right above my knee-ish like that, but it's still, oh my God, I'm like stuttering. I still think it's cute. Look at how amazing this chair is. It's not in the best condition and it does have a spider on it, but isn't that so beautiful? $65 though. So I'm gonna be watching a movie and I'm gonna be watching A Christmas Story and I have not seen this since I was in like elementary school. This was usually the kind of movie that you would watch in like the last day of school before Christmas break. So I haven't seen that since then. Just kidding. Oh my god, this is the worst news. This has never happened to me before. It's not even scratched. What is going on? Okay, so since that didn't work, I'm gonna be watching Holiday Affair. It's my first time watching it, so yeah, I'm really excited. 1949. Oh my god, it is so cold. Okay, let's turn my car on so it starts warming up. It is so cold, you can literally see the air coming out of my mouth when I'm inside the car. It's like minus 13 right now. Anyway, so I am on my way to the grocery store so that I can get some chocolate chips because I wanted to make some like festive chocolate chip cookies today. It's gonna be a really fun day and then later tonight I'm gonna go drive around and see all the Christmas lights. I'm really, really excited to do that. I love doing that. So um, yeah, that's basically the plan. Um, okay, my car to warm up a little bit and then we will go. The superior chocolate. Okay, so I'm back home now and we're gonna start making the chocolate chip cookies and I'm making a recipe that I made up when I was in high school and by made up I mean I combined like a bunch of different recipes and I like tested and tried a bunch of different ones what combinations worked and I basically make it differently every single time that I make it so I can't even give you like a set recipe or anything I just kind of like wing it <laughs> and they are made with um condensed milk which i think is my favorite part of the cookie so yeah does anybody else feel like they have to try the dough like the cookie dough before you do anything else just to make sure that it's good cookie dough or is that just me Mm. That is good cookie dough. <laughs> okay, time for chocolate chips. I'm using some semi-sweet chocolate and I'm literally just gonna throw in probably about like 90% of the bag and then I'm gonna save a little bit for the very end because I feel like sometimes at the very end, there's not enough chocolate chips in the dough for some reason. So I always like, like to throw in a little bit more at the end. Chocolate. Ah, yes, cookie dough. Look at that, just absolutely beautiful. I'm 
I'm gonna add some of these for a little bit of a festive touch. They're kind of like little thingies. They're like green and red. Oh, uh, this is such a fail. Um, I love how I'm like talking about my secret chocolate chip recipe and this happens. Uh, the beautiful before, after. I'm gonna cry. What am I supposed to do with all these other cookies? I still made the same batter and I put them on these other ones. Should I make them anyway? I mean, either way, I'm gonna either throw this out or put it in the oven, so I guess it's gonna go in the oven. Should I try it? Mm, I mean, it tastes amazing. Looks wise though, like a one. Flavor, 10 out of 10. Mm. That is a good cookie. Really ugly though, poor thing. I put the next batch in and it is doing the exact same thing. No. Okay, so I tried cookie cutters just to see if that would work, but it doesn't it just ends up breaking anyway. But as you can tell, it does taste really good. I'm just gonna put in batch number three and hope for the best. Let's see what you do. I need a coffee. Okay, at least I'm gonna go see some lights later. Maybe I should just go Christmas shopping. I've had, I just, it's not my day today. I literally dropped everything today. Like, I kept going into the stores and dropping things, getting things in my car, I kept dropping things. Now these cookies look ugly. They do taste really good though, I will say. But yeah, maybe I should go do some Christmas shopping before I go see the lights. beautiful this house looks with all the lights on it so I'm out with my mom trying to like drive around and look at all the Christmas lights and I made her like pull over this bright lights from the car okay now I look normal
this house is doing the absolute most out of any other house. Look at that, so many lights. The, the, the things move, the, yeah. the bear. Yeah, it's so cute. Oh my God, look. Okay, so I'm back home now and do you guys remember when I went to the antique market in my last video and I got these little cookie cutters so that I could hang them on my tree? I thought I would do a little bit of a DIY before I have dinner because I got this ribbon and it's like all tartan like this. So I thought that would look really cute and I could hang it up and then I can just make a little bow. Okay, this lighting is absolutely horrible. You guys cannot even see me, but I'm on my way to do a little bit of Christmas shopping. I'm in the car right now. It's like minus 11 or something, so I'm freezing right now. I'm just heating up my car. I know this little place that it's like a little vintage store that it's like super random, but sometimes they have the most amazing hats. So I'm like kind of debating if I should drive over there just because my hair looks really nice. So I'm like, oh, what a perfect day to try on like a bunch of hats. Um, so I don't know, I'm kind of debating. Wow, look at all these nutcrackers. These are only $2. How many should I get? They're so cute. This is what I mean. So pretty. So the guy that works here just came up to me and he's like we have way more hats inside the cabinets and he just opened like a bunch of them for me and look at this hat that I just found. Stop. He also showed me the ones that are inside this cabinet. Look at how many hats there is. I'm trying on the hats that I liked the most. I really like this red one. Really cool. You guys can barely see me again the lighting is so weird but anyway so I'm in my car right now sorry if it's like a little bit loud in here I have the car on because it is so cold so I have to have the heat on but I ended up getting that hat and it's so funny because this hat I saw it last year and I really wanted to get it and then I came I didn't buy it and then I came after Christmas and it was gone and I thought somebody else bought it and then I have been here a few times since then and I haven't seen it and then I come today and it's here it's still here and it is beautiful it's gonna be perfect for the summer it looks terrible in this lighting so just ignore that but it is so pretty so yeah so let's continue Where did my other glove go so 
should I have bought that little brown one? It was kind of cute, but I'm like still like parked outside the store debating if I should get another hat. No, that's good. That's all I need for today. Hi guys, happy Friday! Today is a Friday and I'm actually getting ready right now. I still have the clips in my hair because, okay, so yesterday, uh, sorry, let me like start over. <laughs> so today is Friday, yesterday was Thursday. I didn't film anything yesterday because we had like this ice storm outside. So I just spent the entire day just like editing stuff for this video and like other photos and stuff. So I didn't do anything exciting. Um, but I was editing the footage from when I went to that little antique shop that I had tried on the hats and stuff. And I was kind of regretting not getting some of those hats. So I kind of want to go back and try them on. And I also saw this amazing picture frame there and I was debating at the store if I should buy it and I really really regret not buying it it was only $15 so I'm gonna go back um have my fingers crossed but I'm pretty sure it's still gonna be there because there was an ice storm yesterday so I doubt anybody went and bought that exact item so fingers crossed that it's still there um so that is basically the plan it was like super foggy this morning but the sun is shining it is a beautiful day outside so perfect day to go antique shopping I'm gonna hopefully stop by the mall after to finish up some Christmas presents and and that's basically the plan nothing else going on I have to try on my outfit for tomorrow because I'm gonna have like a friend's brunch tomorrow so I have to try on my outfit okay I'm here fingers crossed that the picture frame is still here <laughs> and there it is okay but I also really want these hats I don't think I tried this one on properly last time I was here and I think it could be, oh my god, it got really quiet in here. Okay, um, I think this can actually look really, really nice on. So I'm going to put it on and then we'll see. I think maybe if I do this. What do you think? I think this looks way better. And this is the other one that I think I put in like on top of my head. I'm going to try leaning it a little bit more back like this. I think... Maybe. I have no idea how much they are, so I'm going to ask. And then I also have my little picture frame thing that I really wanted. This is like the main thing that I came to get. But I mean, if I'm already here, I might as well look at all the little nutcrackers again because I didn't end up buying them last time. So I'm like, mm, should I just buy some more now? So let's go look at that. Look at all the hats that they have. Honestly, I'm like tempted to look through like all of these boxes. Look at how many there are. So it is a little bit later. I don't know why. Every single time I start filming, I'm like, I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, so anyway, I literally just did it again. Okay, anyway, so I'm home now and I'm just kind of like running around because I have to go help my little cousin with like this art homework or something. So I have to go to my aunt's house and I ended up getting the picture frame. Uh, you guys already saw this, obviously. It is so cool. I actually really love it. It reminds me of like, I don't know why I feel like it's like on a vanity, like an old Hollywood vanity. I just think it's so cool. However, I am a little bit torn. Should I? There's two options. Should I try to recreate this photo or like create like an old Hollywood kind of photo of myself and put it on there and pretend like I'm like this big Hollywood starlet or something? And then option number two is to actually print out like an old Hollywood actor. There's just so many guys that I could choose from. I honestly would have to like really narrow it down, but those are my two options. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below what I should do. But either way, it is just so cool. Love it so much. Okay. Um, and then I also got this little ornament i don't even know if i showed you guys this when i was in the store but it's a 1930s ornament and i just thought it was so pretty i mean look at it it is just everything i wanted to get so many more but they were five dollars each and i was like okay it's really easy to say oh i want this 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 and this and the next thing you know you have like fifty dollars worth of stuff so i was like okay i'm gonna get one to treat myself it was five dollars i'm already getting the picture frame you don't need anything else so i ended up getting those two Next thing that I have to do is I have to wrap this present for my friend Michaela because we are we have like a friend's brunch tomorrow and I wanted to give her a little gift for Christmas. We're not really doing like big gifts or anything, but I wanted to get her something small and I got this box that I wanted to put the present in. It looks like this and it's got like a red plaid on it. 
Um, but I don't like this red ribbon that's on it because it doesn't really match and she doesn't really like red. She's more of a pink person. So I'm just going to take all that ribbon off and then add my own ribbon. So now it looks like this. And then what I got is I got this pink ribbon like this and I'm just going to tie that all around it. And it's going to look so pretty. I'm so excited. So anyway, that's more like the decorative part. Um, I got her, like I said, it's something really small. We're not really doing gifts or anything. I just wanted to get her like a small little present just as like, I don't know. She obviously loves pink. So I got her this little Santa and I thought it was so cute. And she can put it in her apartment with all her pink stuff. And I don't know, I thought it was really, really cute. I was kind of debating getting one for myself because I love it so much. And then I also got her these gummy bears that are all like pastel colors and they're birthday cake flavored so i think she'll really like that um and then i also got her a little dairy milk bar because you guys know i love dairy milk so literally every single present i'm like you get dairy milk and you get dairy milk and you get dairy milk just because i want to share it with everybody because it's my favorite chocolate I'm like out of breath because there's a car waiting and I keep okay I need to catch my breath I have to be there in like five minutes so I'm like power walking so that I'm not late but I should be okay I think oh my god why am I like out of breath I need to work out more okay I'm here I just have to cross the street before I get run over Oh my god, you look so cute! You oh got it all set up and everything. Look at how pretty everything looks. Oh, oh my god, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, 